Hello, welcome to um, another tutorial by me. Okay, so briefly in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this WhatsApp logo right here. So I'm going to show you how to make it from make it come out in 3D from 2D to outline and to 3D. All right. So the uh, the last tutorial I dropped was for Pinterest and uh, Instagram. This beautiful Pinterest logo and uh, this Instagram logo right on my desktop. So if you've not seen it, you should go check out the tutorial because it has uh, a different uh, tutorial. It has it's not it's not the same process as what the WhatsApp logo has because the WhatsApp logo is uh, more of extrusion. It has it's more of um, add surface modeling, so it's hard. So we have more extrusion and. Uh, it's not it's not a soft edged uh, logo unlike the Instagram or the Pinterest that look very uh, smooth and uh, uh, really glossy all right so let's jump in and uh, let's see what we can dig out of this so here we're inside we're into illustrator and uh, the very first thing is to place to place my whatsapp logo so I have my WhatsApp logo placed there in uh, Illustrator. Let's just wait for this guy to do what he wants to do. Oh, oh. Okay, so placed him in uh, place here already. So the very first thing I did was uh, to image trace. So to trace the image, all I did was to come and use auto color and uh, it just uh, changes everything out to me. And the very, very, very thing I need is the outline. So I expand it and uh, I ungroup it. And then I begin to delete what I don't need. So I have um, the icon itself here, this guy here. So uh, I deliberately listen, I deliberately put a uh, field here with white and here with white so that it's a code for my uh, for cinema 4D. So when I click on an option, it's going to uh, recognize it the way I want it to recognize it. So I drop it here and save it as uh, save it as WhatsApp. Uh, Save it as WhatsApp, yes, and um, save it as Illustrator 8, because that's the only Illustrator file um, Cinema 4D can recognize. And once it's saved, you click OK, and then jump into Cinema 4D, jump into Cinema, and um, all we want to do is to uh, to make sure we import, we open. And we have WhatsApp. Where are you? Here, and click on open. So make sure that you click group splines and uh, connect splines, so that once you uh, apply your extrude nerb, it won't give you what you don't like. So we do OK, and then our WhatsApp logo is inside. So the very first thing we have to do is. Click the WhatsApp logo, hold Alt, click here and make sure you are um, highlighted on the extrude knob and uh, release your click and then it automatically makes your WhatsApp a child of the extrude. If you do not understand that, if it's uh, making you uh, feel dizzy, <laughs> so all you just have to do is select this, come here, select your extrude, click and drag on that. So it's still the same process of what I did. Okay, so having done that, uh, the next thing to do, let me open the previous file. So it's like I said earlier, it's a, oh, I didn't state. Okay, now I'm saying it's a more of a walk through. So where is Pinterest? I uh, drop everything together. Okay, so here we go. Here we go, here we go. So I have to, uh, you have to really see the uh, previous tutorial. It's for, uh, it's for Pinterest and Instagram. 
but this is for WhatsApp so let's uh, drop this guy here All right so let me make uh, WhatsApp visible okay okay here is WhatsApp WhatsApp okay there we go uh, uh, also I think uh, okay I think this is it all right so let's uh, go back to what we have outside there so I have it extruded out so there's no much stress the only thing to do is just drop it into extrude and then the next thing I did was uh, to create to create uh, a sphere so I created a sphere and I made it a child of the WhatsApp I'm making it a child because I just want it to be on the same um, zero plane so all I have to do is to make it zero 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 and um, expand it make it bigger make it bigger and bigger so you can always remove it from being the child and then move it backwards okay so we have our whatsapp logo uh, you can make this smoother your, your sphere so we come here render perfect and we use a 36 let's make a use of 36 okay uh, 36 is still uh, so let me make use of uh, 48 so I think uh, this is still not good okay let me just bump it up to 100 all right so I think this is uh, still preferable all right so the next thing I did was to make sure uh, this WhatsApp logo wraps itself around this sphere because if you try moving it uh, it won't wrap itself it's just gonna be like a big mess so pick the WhatsApp and once you try to move it you have this uh, problem here here and here so the, the best thing to do is uh, to pick uh, the band tool so we have the band tool in the, uh, the band deformer which is here and make the band deformer a child of your uh, your tool your whatsapp tool so another way to do it if you check is a uh, uh, okay where is it where is it I removed it I, I, I didn't fix it there but I, I, I made sure so so here if you check it it's not uh, bending right but if you check the picture I don't know why I removed it from here control D Windows D if you check the picture you will notice that it's really lined well on the plane like it's bent and curvy so uh, that's the effect of the um, bend tool so all I did was to make uh, could either do it two ways I could either make a make a copy of this so I'm making a copy of this and um, I will lock it so I'm locking locking it and then this here this guy I uh, would um, I would make him editable by pressing C and then I have one object so we have cap and cap and then I do uh, tell it I say connect objects plus delete so we have the whatsapp logo there so let's pick our band deformer and make it a child of the extrude and uh, click fit to parent so it fits itself to the whatsapp uh, icon perfectly so the next thing to do is uh, to make sure that we have um, uh, within box or limited and then the strength so it's bending to the uh, what axis is this uh, the X axis and we don't want it that way so the very thing to do is to rotate your bend to so since it's bending this way so that means you have to rotate it this way in uh, 90 degree make sure you hold shift to rotate in 90 degree all right so since it's like that let's now fit it to parent again so that uh, it fits perfectly. All right, so let's mess with the strength. So once we begin to mess with the strength, 
it bends to where you want it to bend so uh, I think this is the right direction I want it to bend so it's bending this way so we have to fix things up so let's make this uh, 15 and then pick uh, my extrude which is my main so if you notice something that uh, my my move and anchor point is not at the middle is not at the center of my object so what I have to do is click L or click this button or press L on my keyboard to go to the axis mode so that I could bring my axis to the middle of my object so I'm bringing it to the middle of my object then release it and then I'll be able to move my object the way I want to okay so we have it this way so it's uh, I think it's uh, perfect making it 15 degrees like this so I have my WhatsApp logo exactly resting where I want it to rest but you will notice here uh, well I just decided to make that it's uh, negligible the other one I did I think I had to make use of uh, two bend tools so after making use of this I have to uh, make this okay so let's after making use of this so I had to make it uh, uh, editable again so I had to place another one in order to bend here so that's what I did but uh, for the case of this tutorial I'm not going to do that now because uh, I'm really uh, trying to fight against uh, time okay so Let's bend it more. Let's bend it more. And uh, okay, so it's bent. Uh, and I'll move this guy up. I move this guy in here and uh, move this guy out right here. Okay, so I think I think this is uh, good enough. So if it's still not doing what you want it to do, then you might uh, want to increase here um, the size of your sphere. And bring this guy back outside so you would have you have all the edges touching 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 it okay so uh, that is just the rough um, that that is the rough um, um, sketch of what I did I think it's I think it's okay I think it's okay uh, then I can always uh, come here and decide to rotate this a little bit so so it uh, fits what I want it to fit okay so I think this is okay this is uh, okay for me all right so the next uh, step is to add uh, my material so I'm jumping into the previous and then I added if you watch the uh, the previous tutorial like I said uh, I just really had a uh, skeletal explanation of how I made this so I'm gonna make it again so I just uh, created a new V-Ray here uh, create V-Ray bridge advanced material most times it's very advanced material you will use so once I created that I just uh, made sure I have three specular channels one two three with the same excuse me with the same um, um, attributes and then also this diffuse layer and after that I I clicked and dragged it on the WhatsApp logo then there and then I placed my camera so we'll come to V-Ray bridge use some um, cameras and a physical camera so after placing my camera I changed the ISO and um, and the uh, um, shutter speed so the lesser the shutter speed the more the amount of light that comes to your scene when you render and the the higher the ISO also the more the light so I compensate between this setting and this setting between this setting and this setting that's why I compensate all right so uh, the next thing I did was uh, to add light so I started adding lights I have a front light uh, I have another front light inside of this uh, sphere so it's the pink light there then I have um, 
I also have the dome lights in which I disabled. So for the lights, I picked up, so this is how to create the lights, come here, V-Ray Bridge, um, lights, do um, V-Ray Area Rectangle Lights, V-Ray Area Rectangle Lights, and then here we have it, and then I renamed it to Front. So click on the tag, and um, make sure it's rectangle, make sure it's invincible, invisible. If you make it visible, that means you're telling your camera to see it when you render, and sometimes it might distort your render. Uh, then also tell it to affect reflections and 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 uh, okay. So after that, we have um, the light color. I changed it. You can always change your light color and shadow color. Enable uh, sh drop shadow. Okay, and then after that. The next thing I did was um, to to look for good positioning to uh, render. So I think I like here, and um, I like um, here. But I used I used more of this to render. So I came all the way, like almost uh, this way, to render it almost this way. So this is the rough um, view which I rendered. Sure, sure I'm right. Okay, I think I'm right. So uh, thereafter, I came to my settings, my very bridge setting, and made, make, make sure it's an S part, then showing VFB as a very frame buffer, make sure my global illumination is on, and make sure that my radiance map and light catch settings are the one in place. Um, is the one in place, pardon. Then make, make sure that my ambient occlusion is on. Uh, I think that's all about it. And my caustic is on too. Well, I think, uh, so for my anti-aliasing, I have the sampler type to bucket. I prefer buckets most times because sometimes it make me, makes my render fast. And sometimes I use adaptive uh, subdivision. All right, so uh, if you want to know more uh, in-depth in -depth, uh, settings about V-Ray, just post a comment and uh, I will uh, do a video on that. But for the sake of this tutorial, that's not what it's for. Okay, so for the sake of the tutorial, I move on. And then I make sure this is green. So instead of red, all I used was to create advanced, um, very advanced material. And then we have um, just green for the diffuse layer. That's all, green, no reflectance. Uh, no, nothing, no, nothing. So you just a diffuse layer, and then I dropped it on the sphere. And uh, all I did was to uh, render and then wait for the V ray frame buffer to pop up and uh, render my image out. So when this is done rendering, I think uh, I'll be back when. It's done rendering. I think I'll be back. So uh, I couldn't wait for it to to complete rendering because uh, I actually don't have time to wait. But uh, you get the idea. So it uh, completed the rendering, and uh, I just took it to Photoshop and did some retouching. I okay. So we have a beautiful render. Okay. So let me just explain what I did. So we have it here. So I took it to Photoshop, and then I uh, I did some leveling and some curves and some hue and saturation settings. And I also made uh, what again? Yes, a, mush, uh, a blur, a depth of field blur. I blurred some parts out and I made some highlights to make it uh, pop out more. So I made sure the contrast was uh, is striking so there's a striking contrast so for for the green and the white around here to really pop out and uh, get appealing all right so i think um i've come to the end of this tutorial if you have any questions or any comments just post them down below uh this video you can also do well by uh, subscribing to my channel and if you learned anything from this video and you wish to see more, like the video, 
and uh, subscribe to my channel. So uh, at this point, I would say have a great day and uh, see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.